what the rat dragged in. Can it? I know something Ragslin will want to hear. Yeah? What's that? I've been in some druid's grove. This one's spring me. Now move over so I can tell Ragslin myself. Hold on. Where are the Vaders? Dead. Every last one. Ragslin's drow friend won't be happy to hear that. She'll be happy enough when I tell her where them Lugas is holding up. Let me through. Hold on now. Is it true what Saz says? You helped her escape that grove. Behave yourself. Saz is vouching for you. You mess up, you and Saz will get it. That's enough out of you. Come on. Gotta let the drown know where them looters is. We'll be heroes. These big dogs could guard the place themselves. Let us off the hook. is irresistible. You recognize the overwhelming authority that you've used on others, only infinitely stronger, and turned against you. Your vision clouds, leaving you in a dark, featureless shadowscape, nothingness in every direction. Then there are three figures before you, an armored male elf exuding power and command, a handsome younger man with a quick, easy smile. And a pale young woman with even paler eyes. These are my chosen. They speak for me. Aid their search for the prison, and you will be worthy to stand beside them. In my... Give me that look. I don't know what just happened any more than you do. We should keep going. Nice one, Shadowheart. That thing in your pocket seems powerful as hell. I don't know. Not exactly. All I know is it's important I get it back to Baldur's Gate. At any cost. I... I am a servant of Shah. My home is a secret cloister in Baldur's Gate. I need to bring that artifact back there. No matter what. I can't tell you anymore. This mission required utmost secrecy. We all submitted to having our memories suppressed so that we couldn't betray Shah's confidence. If I reach my contact in the city, I'll have my memories restored. Until then, I have to guard the artifact with my life. There. You have the truth, for all it's worth. Let's continue. 
Heavens forbid. We're all entitled to our secrets. There's nothing more I can tell you. All I remember is that I have to get back to my contact in the city. A powerful artifact indeed, to have caught the attention of so many. Not least the Absolute itself, the three figures in the vision, the Chosen are searching for it. With the cultists' aid, it will not be long before they find it. Before they find you. You have evaded them so far, thanks, it seems, to the artifact itself. But how long can such protection last? Shadowheart has made her position clear. She will see that it is taken to its destination, at any cost. And you still do not know what it even is. Trust me, I'll guard it with my life. Let's keep going. His name is Thorax, and his voice absolute. His troops will disarm you and draw you the truth. Laugh if you dare, recoil if you must. A new age is dawning with goblins at trust. Oh, the stranger in our fair camp. He'll follow and fight far and wide for what great glory. With fragulous crown and with scepter abraid, draw Ragslin, short work of the innkeeper made. <laughs> the inn burnt to ash, the captives were many, goblet kind had reduced them to cowering filfenny. So raise it, your goblets, and drain them with pride. Draw Ragslin. The true soul had led you to the light. You! Move on! Do as she says. Now. <clears throat> now, where was I, huh? Wait a tick. That a friend of yours? Oops, certainly not. What are you doing? I'm busy here. You lying. To you? Never. Come, let's continue our ballad. <coughs> draw Ragslin, draw Ragslin. Um, um, I am a draw Ragslin. Um, um, Tumptuous. Uh, draw Ragslin! Uh, um. You broke him! Wait! Wait! Uh, draw Ragslin! We play! We. Uh... Come on, pigeon! Back to your cage! Now, oh, look what you've done! Come on! You was brilliant in the rain! Of course! My name's Gribbo, idiot! Right, yes. Not for me. Got wings. Reckon it can fly. No, too fat. Dragons is fat and they fly fine. We have to find Halsin before it's too late. I doubt these goblins care much for their prisoners' welfare. Let's hope we find them in one piece. Bloody racket! Almost got past. We got him now, eh? And what's the well done? Sir Luna. As if mingling with a horde of goblins wasn't bad enough. Let's do what we have to do, then get out of here.
good. I wasn't intending to. Oi! Ain't no party in here. Shay it, Graw. Olak cleared us. Got to visit her for the drow, I do. My ass. What's a true soul want with any mate of yours? Private business, that is. Raiding business. But if anyone wants a piss pot guarded, we'll call. Just get your friend branded proper. Right, Sazza? Got better things to do than... No, you don't. Come on, then. Bloody racket. Oh, come on now. They're just having a bit of fun. Oi, so much fun. More vile idolatry. Here, the it makes my stomach turn. Smells like the the decorations are in I only hear her through you, priestess. That's because she chose me. You're not worth it. Scrying eye. Let's not do anything suspicious while it's watching. What are we waiting for? Spears are sharp. The lads are all loyal. Mistress! It's me, your loyal servant, Sazza. I'm back! And I brought a friend. How thoughtful. And where did you find this friend? They was in some rickety druid grove. Mostly full of tieflings, but them intruders you're after were hiding out there. I presume you dealt with my prey and massacred the rest. Ah, oh. well, the fear about that is they sort of massacred us. This mug helped me escape, though. I say we stick a few holes in her, show how grateful we are. You feel a cold hand caress your mind as the drow praises you. Oh, dear. Your prisoner is one of the Absolute's favorites, Saza. A true soul. Nah, a combi. They was in the grove, hanging around with the tieflings. Undercover, no doubt. Carrying out the Absolute's will. Oh, Saza, you have made a grave error. And it will be your last. My spiders are hungry, little one. But before they feast, tell me where that grove is. And I may yet spare your life. It's past the bridge, to the east. Big old gate covered in ivy. Don't hurt me, mistress, please. I will not hurt you. My spiders will have that pleasure. No, I'm up up, I'm sorry. But I didn't know who they was. They didn't tell me nothing. I told ya! I was trying to follow orders best I could! Silence, wretch! And remember, you owe your miserable life to this one. I won't cause any more trouble. I swear to it! Through sheer luck, that pathetic worm has brought me the information I need. And it seems that the inhabitants of the Grove trust you. We can use that against them. You have a part to play in this slaughter. Return to the grove. When my raiding party approaches, throw open the gate and signal me. The fate of the grove's inhabitants hangs in the balance. Killing the drow here would spare them, but it might be better to face her warband at the grove itself on familiar ground. On the other hand, participating in the slaughter as she asks may be the perfect way to earn her trust and access to the cult's inner circle. Good. Marshalling the goblins is no simple matter, but my warband will be ready to attack by next light. Once we are in position, we will wait for your signal, and then we will break them all. Yeah, the raiders. Souls are infected. Yes, by your life. ladyship. Why do we they won't think they're let you down. Whoa, soldier. What did you just do?
Listen to me. I'm trusting you. But if you disappoint me, it'll be the last thing you do. Somebody special. The Absolute has touched you, hasn't she? Priestess Gut needs to touch you too. Hold out your arms so I can mark your flesh. Shows our devotion to the Absolute. These maggots see how strong we are with her guidance. Whole camp will be branded soon, and you should be too. You ready? Brace yourself. This'll sting. Hold still. Pain muddles your thoughts, your minds become entangled. A familiar sensation. She, too, carries a parasite. Darkness seems to swallow the temple, leaving you with a vision of the goblin priestess receiving instruction from a handsome young man, one of the chosen. The vision dissolves away. You stand before the goblin priestess in the temple once again. Her faith floods into you, a tide of shuddering ecstasy. Her tadpole nestles within that mania, secure, hidden. I feel you in there, digging around. Works both ways. And I saw some weird shadows swimming around in your head just now. Maybe I can help with that. Us true souls gotta look out for one another. With the Absolute's will, I can fix anything. Let's deal with this in my chapel. It's private. Don't want this lot interfering with true soul business. Oi! Priestess! We want the mark! Yeah! Ain't we good enough for the Absolute? around ready to clear your head whatever the absolute tells me to don't worry she loves you I can tell don't want a crowd of gawpers everybody else needs to leave Goblin parties are so much more fun than anything you'll find in Baldur's Gate. Or the Hells, for that matter. Not that I'm suggesting we stop for a drink, of course. Sounds boring. If you insist, I'll make my way back. But don't be long, all right? Most would think us mad for wandering right into the middle of a goblin war clan. 
I suppose that goes to demonstrate just how desperate we are. If you're sure. As you like. Perhaps I'll see you at camp. Ah, drink it in. That sweet, sweet chaos. Not that I approve of goblins, of course, filthy little beasts, but I do like a good den of debauchery. Oh, darling, I'm hurt. I thought we had something special. Well, you know where to find me. Ready to clear your head? Smart. All you need to do is open yourself to the absolute. And I'll do the rest. Don't want anyone peeping on private matters, so... There we go. Secret and safe. Well, secret. Psionic feelers creep across your mind like a pickpocket's fingers seeking flaws in fabric. Sifting deeper, she sees the mind flare holding a wriggling tadpole to your eye. And then the vision lurches. And you are looking through her eyes as a tadpole squirms into her skull. Help! We need to fish that thing out before it eats any important parts of your brain. No. It's messing with your brain. You're seeing things, probably hearing voices too, yeah? Don't you worry. I've got everything I need to fix you. Might get a bit messy, though. It involves you putting your trust in the absolute. Simple. You won't regret this. Being a true soul, you know the Absolute don't like to touch nothing unclean. So drink this. It'll purify ya. You recognize telltale flecks of werejackal blood. It's a potion of sleep. I ain't deceiving nobody. I'm trying to help. Sweet dreams. I'll see your ugly mug on the other side. Wakey, wakey. Don't bother struggling. You ain't going nowhere. The Absolute wants to know all about that critter in your head. So start talking. I know that much. I saw the whole horrible story in your memories. And I know what happens next. Your teeth fall out, your skin rips off, and you turn into one of them. Think you're special, do ya? You? You're not. I'm gonna keep you here so I can see every gory detail and hear every whimper and scream. 
Not likely. You're forgetting one thing. I've got the absolute to protect me. But you, you're on your own. Nothing more than a skin suit for that monster inside you. You're gonna be my new pet. A ferocious squiddy. All for myself. You test the weight of the chains, looking for weak points. shoots through your arm as the bone pops out of place. The chains hold tight. Your muscles burn with the effort. But the chains hold strong. <clears throat> You're still the same kind of ugly you always was. Disappointing not to have my own squiddy. But your giblets will make for a tasty supper. Sorry. I may have left that a little late. No lasting damage, I hope. Gorilla Heart Flame. At your service. You made quite an impression on my master. He sends his regards. The Honorable Raphael. He's terribly excited about you and your con. At this point, you're more interesting alive than dead. So here I am, your savior in times of need. <clears throat> Be a little more careful. That skin's valuable, and we won't always be watching. Shah's blessings upon you. All right. Some company wouldn't hurt on the road, especially if there's trouble. Will's brows furrow as your minds connect. He sees the burning embers of Joaquin's rest, then Floric's face as she tells you of Raven God's abduction. Hells. 
Old Raven Guard's been taken. Then we need to seek him out and get him to safety. You see, Grand Duke Raven Guard is my father. I know I haven't said. Our relation was no matter of pride, not least for him. Thank you. That means a lot. But I wonder, what makes a Duke of Baldur's Gate so interesting to the drow? 